Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, I'll be profiling for you my Ghost Trick deck. Now, Ghost Tricks are a deck that I've been playing around with since Shadow Specters came out over a year ago. And there's different variations of Ghost Tricks you can play. You can play the Lockdowns uh, Ghost Tricks, you can play the Mill your opponent's Ghost Tricks by banishing them with Skeleton. There's a whole bunch of different variations, but I kind of like the standardish build where you can get your you, you get Ghost Trick Mansion out and you attack your, over your opponent's monsters directly. Um, that type of build. That's the build I prefer personally. But um, that's just me. It's the build that I've been playing with since they came out and it's my favorite build. And I've decided to do this because it's almost Halloween as you guys know. Halloween is almost upon us so I decided why not do the deck that is pretty much based off Halloween characters. So first off we have three Ghost Trick Janchi. Uh, forgive me if I, put, if I butcher their names. I've never been able to pronounce them no matter how many times I try, but Ghost Trick, Ghost Trick Jankshi uh, pretty much is your searcher for the deck, but depending upon how many face-up Ghost Tricks you have, you can search that level. So three Jankshi, I find definitely staple. Uh, three Spectre, I wish they made Spectre in a hollow form, he just looks so cute and so ridiculously funny. But alas, they've never made him in a hollow form, but Ghost Trick Spectre pretty much is very simple. Uh, when a Ghost Trick monster is destroyed, you can get to draw one card and special summon him. And people always say, oh, they have low attack, but believe me, that low attack adds up very quickly um, if you're attacking your opponent's life points directly. Next, we have three Ghost Trick Lanterns. It's kind of like Battle Fader for Ghost Tricks, and it's searchable very easily. So, three Ghost Trick Lanterns. Uh, next, I have two Ghost Trick Marys. Uh, I find three Ghost Trick Marys is a little bit too cloggy. She's easy to search out. Uh, she's very good uh, when your opponent attacks you. And I just like her, but as a three of, she gets kind of cloggy. So you have to try to find the proper balance in here. Next, we have two Ghost Trick Steins. Uh, Ghost Trick Stein is kind of your searcher for your field spell if you can get the effect off. But he's your main beat stick in the deck to get over and attack your opponent's life. To, uh, a life points directly, and he's one of my favorite Ghost Tricks, I have to say. Next, we have two Ghost Trick Jack Frost. I really like Gap Ghost Trick Jack Frost, but I've always considered maybe bumping him down to one instead of having two of him. But then I then I say every time I play the deck after I do that, I'm like, eh, I want to have two Ghost Trick Jack Frost because he comes in handy. So, two Ghost Trick Jack Frost. Uh, next, we have one Ghost Trick Witch. Ghost Trick Witch is good, pretty good for some cool combos. We have one Ghost Trick Mummy. Ghost Trick Mummy comes in handy for your double summonings, and plus he's another good beat stick for the deck. And one Ghost Trick Ghoul, because if, if you can get him out with a whole bunch of other things, it's really nice. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll attack with Ghoul with another Ghost Trick, and then I'll overlay for Alucard with another level 3 if I got one on the field, so it's really nice. There's enough level 3's in here to make Alucard a very valuable card. The two main exceeds Alucard and uh, Ghost Trick Dollahan. Uh, next we have 3 Mansion. Uh, Mansion, you have to get to this card as fast as you can. I've considered running Terraforming, but every time I run Terraforming I'm just like, this just doesn't help the, the deck as much as I would like to. Uh, but definitely 3 Ghost Trick Mansion because this, if, you, if this card gets destroyed you're going to be in for some trouble. Uh, next. Three Swords of Concealing Light. I really like Swords of Concealing Light at three in this deck. It helps out so much. Um, some people just like running it as a two of. I prefer three because it's a really good card and I've always wanted this card, card in my hand or activating it. Uh, next, two Book of Life. Uh, I've been trying out Book of Life in the deck just to give it some generic zombie support because most of the deck is zombie uh, based. So things like uh, Jiangxi. Jiangxi is zombies. Um, you know, Ghoul. I can bring back Ghoul. I can bring back Stein. I can bring back, uh, you know, Ghoul if I have like a whole bunch of face up ghost tricks and, and Ghoul has been destroyed. I can bring back Ghoul from the graveyard, uh, banish an opponent's monster in grave. It's, it's kind of nice in the deck. Um, so I like this over Soul Charge in the deck, but it comes in handy as a two up, I find. It's personal, it's player preference. Uh, next, two pod dualities. You do special summon from time to time, so I just like two pod dualities in the deck for consistency and searching. Uh, next, I want one allure of darkness just for drawing power. It comes in handy. It's pretty much everything in the deck is dark. Uh, one Book of Moon and one recurring nightmare. Book of Moon, pretty much Book of Moon is staple in Gravekeepers, 
and definitely in this deck because you can reflip things down, get some cool combos out. Recurring Nightmare I've always liked because I can reuse a lot of my cards. I can reuse my Ghost Trick Lanterns uh, because it says I can, I can select two level zero defense monsters in my graveyard, add those back to my hand so I can reuse my Ghost Trick Lanterns for more stalling power. We use Ghost Trick, Ghost Trick Spectre if I want to. Uh, sorry for the glare, but there's a whole bunch of Ghost Tricks in the desk deck. You can use Stein, Ghost Trick Stein. The list goes on and on of things you can use, and I just like it as a one of because it comes in handy a lot. Some people like it, some people don't. I like it. Uh, next, I run three Ghost Trick Scare. I wish there was an easier way to search out Ghost Trick Scare because it's such a good, good staple trap card in this deck. Sorry for that. Uh, next, we have two Ghost Trick Vanish. Um, Ghost Trick Vanish Vanisher, I have a love-hate relationship with this card. I really like it sometimes, especially if my opponent's going to try to nuke my field by going Exiton Knight, Dark Hole, Regeki, something of that nature, Torrential Tribune, uh, even. It's really, really nice. But then there are times where it's just a dead card on the field, and it's just like, ugh, ugh, this is just, this is not the card I want. So. I have a love-hate relationship, but it pays off in the end as running this as a two-of because it protects your ghost monsters once you get your setup. And if you get your setup destroyed, it's a tough battle. Uh, next, I will run two Ghost Trick Go Around. Uh, some people like Ghost Trick Go Around. Some people don't like it. I like it as a two-of. It's really nice. Uh, you can. The, this deck is pretty much stall your opponent out, attack over their monsters, beat them over the head for game. So that's why I like two Ghost Trick Go Around. Just player preference. If you want to take them out for something else, go right ahead. Ghost Trick Goal Around, that is. Uh, and lastly, two ghost, uh, Needle Sealing. Needle Sealing is amazing in this deck. can help destroy your opponent's board very easily, and I really like it as a tech card, I guess you could say, to some degree in this deck. So, two Needle Sealing. If you want to run other cards like Compulsory Evacuation Device, Bottomless Trap Hole, Solemn Warning, be my guest and go right ahead and doing that, but the deck is just tight for space. And it's already at 40 cards, and I just don't want to make it like 43, 44, because you have to get to your key combo pieces fairly quickly. So that's why I don't run those cards. I just try to make it, it's a, it's a little rogue deck that I like to play around with for fun from time to time, especially around the holidays, like Halloween. Uh, so next we have, for the side deck, we have two Ghost Trick Dollahan. You go into this card pretty much every single duel. Very, very good card. Uh, next we have my two Ghost Trick Alucarts that I've had for over a year now. Ghost Trick Alucard, very, very good in this deck. Um, you usually go into him at least once or twice a duel. Very staple in this deck. Comes in handy so much in a Ghost Trick deck. Uh, for your 1-up, level 1s, we have Slacker Magician. Uh, number 40, 54, Lionheart. Uh, number 39, Utopia Roots. Those are your level 1 exceeds. They all come in handy. Uh, for your rank up card, I guess we have one downer magician because you can rank up down, you know, using downer magician on a monster if it's used to overlay units where it got fiendish chain, breakthrough skill, etc., etc. Uh, then we have one mecha equipped engineer for your rank threes. Number 45, uh, Nightmare Shark. This card actually is kind of fun to play around with in this deck if uh, as a backup card, um, just in case you're trying to. If you, re if you know the card, it actually comes in handy sometimes in this deck. Just sometimes. Uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon. Num wind Up Zen Mines. Levier, the Sea Dragon, just in case things get banished. Fortune Tune, if you're going into time. That's the only reason I have Fortune Tune in here. Say the Judge Calls Time. Fortune Tune. And believe me, it wins you games. And just because he looks cool and he looks like he's works with the deck to some degree. <laughs> Number 48, Shadow Lich, because it's a cool, interesting rank 3 that came out of Pryo, and um, just a fun card to play around with. It pretty much it fits the theme of this deck, and I had an extra slot. So that is the Ghost Trick deck for you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Ghost Trick deck profile for you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I always like suggestions for this deck, because uh, I know there's a whole bunch of different ways to build in this deck, but I really like my build for the fact that Pretty much I'm trying to attack over my opponent's monsters to get their life points down and people kind of underestimate ghost tricks for the fact that yes they have low attack but in numbers they really you know poke 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 time after time it's going to eat up your opponent's life points and you can destroy your opponent very quickly. 
Uh, so that's why I like Ghost Tricks. They're just a fun little Halloween uh, holiday special deck I like. So till next time guys, take care, have fun doing, good luck doing, and have a happy and safe Halloween to you guys. Take care everybody.